Myanmar, where fighting is escalating between the military junta and rebel groups in the east. The violence has been focused near the border town of Miawadi, an important trade hub and a source of revenue for the cash-strapped military. Rebels say that hundreds of soldiers have now surrendered. Thailand has also increased security along that border as people in Myanmar try to flee the fighting. The rebel groups have made significant gains in recent weeks, weakening the military's grip on power. Well, let's speak to Tony Cheng. He's been following this story for us, and he joins us now from the Thai border city of Mae Sot. Uh, Tony, Myanmar seems to have suffered a series of defeats recently, including in a strategic town just over that border behind you. What is the state of the fighting there now? Well, I think it's not a defeat yet. Uh, we understand there was fighting from early this morning that continued throughout the day, uh, fighting so fierce, in fact, that it could be heard on this side of the border in Mesod uh, until about four hours ago. Then it seems to have ceased. We haven't heard anything since we've been here, but security is very tight. The Thai is clearly taking no chances. We've got a lot of Thai military presence, a couple of Humvees just uh, 100 meters down the road with big machine guns, a grenade launcher on the back, lots of soldiers on foot. Uh, on the other side of the border, things look a little bit more relaxed. We understand security has been passed from uh, the, the military uh, to a transitional border guard force. They say they are there simply to ensure uh, the peaceful transition. Uh, that does seem to be happening at the moment. We haven't heard uh, of any, uh, any fighting close to the border point. People are still coming across. Hundreds have been fleeing the fighting during the day coming into Thailand. Uh, people are still coming across the border. Uh, those troops say they will leave as soon as the Karen ethnic armies who've been leading this fight against the government troops uh, enter this area. They will back away and hand over power. Uh, but at this stage, that one remaining battalion of government troops uh, have not uh, 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 surrendered as I think the Karen were hoping they might do. We understand there are also reinforcements coming from the provincial capital, Pa'an, uh, a couple of armored vehicles and 20 trucks of troops. So they may be re being reinforced. And I think that's an indication of just how important Miawadi is. Mm -hmm. It's a vital trade town. A billion dollars worth of goods goes across this border every year. And it's clearly something the military don't want to give up. So the battle's still clearly ongoing there, Tony, but this all obviously also has regional implications, especially for Thailand, who, as you've said, they've had to deal with people, hundreds of them, fleeing across that border. How is Bangkok engaging on all of this? Well, I think we've seen a slight change of policy from Bangkok, which, after the military coup, had really been uh, Myanmar's... Uh, main friend within ASEAN, I think much to the irritation of other, other ASEAN nations who felt that it was blocking ASEAN pressure on Myanmar to try and force some kind of peace or at least some kind of transitional government. Um, we've heard from the Thai Prime Minister he now recognizes that the military is in a difficult uh, situation. We've also heard from the Foreign Minister that Thailand is making preparations to receive as many as 100,000 refugees across its borders. But I think Thailand will be uh, trying very hard to provide temporary accommodation for people who do seek refuge over their borders, but to get them back as soon as Myanmar is secure. And I think the hope is here that this uh, fighting happens quickly, is wrapped up, and everyone can go back home. Mm. Tony Cheng, in the thick of things for us in Mae Sot, the Thai border city bordering Myanmar there. Thank you very much, Tony. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.